Hello everybody and welcome, this is Idiots here, and this is going to be a little bit of a different video that I haven't really done since the start of my channel back in, uh, was it 2015 or so? Um, I decided to, for whatever reason, uh, give my thoughts very briefly on some of the new announcements that we got during Nintendo's E3 presentation that uh, premiered today. Um, uh, where to start? Okay, so I have the, uh, the page of the announcements. I did watch the announcement video, but um, for copyright reasons, I'm not going to post the uh, footage from said video. Um, so probably the footage, whatever I'm going to be using to uh, have visuals with this is going to be pretty much basically irrelevant. But I wanted to go ahead and touch on a couple of the more minor things before I get to the stuff that I actually care about. Firstly, Alien Isolation and Dauntless are getting Switch ports. Um, I never played an Alien game. I have literally no interest in the Alien franchise, despite the fact that the Metroid franchise is pretty much based on the first three Alien movies, but whatever. <clears throat> Animal Crossing, I couldn't give a rat's butt about. I'm sorry. I've never had an interest in Animal Crossing. I mean, it's getting delayed. So what? Who cares? I don't care. Uh, Cadence of Hyrule. I have not heard much about this game, other than it's, um, well, actually not much at all. Uh, just the title, pretty much. I haven't really had much of an interest to, to look into this game. Um, but I have heard a couple of people in my friend group that are pretty excited about this. Um, let me know in the comments what the hell this is about, in case you uh, want me to maybe check it out in the future. Who knows? Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield will have limited Pokeball Plus support. I don't care. Um, I never bought the Pokeball Plus in the first place. Uh, that was mainly for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and I never purchased either of those games because they're not standard Pokemon RPGs. Wow. So I never really cared to even consider anything about them. Panzer Dragoon swoops into the Switch. I don't even know what the fuck that game is. Sorry, I have I have no interest in whatever the hell this is. It says the classic... Oh, that's what it is. Never mind. I didn't even read the description. The classic Sega Saturn shooter Panzer Dragoon is being remade and is coming to the Switch. The new version features enhanced graphics but otherwise appears identical to the original. It's launching this winter. Okay, so that does that is pretty cool though that we're getting actually a Sega Saturn remaster, which is which is interesting. I haven't heard that before. Uh, then they have Daemon X Machina has a release date and it looks wild according to the article. Uh, we first caught a glimpse of the Mech Fighter Daemon X Machina last year at E3 and it looked absolutely thrilling. Luckily, based on the new trailer, it appears that this hasn't changed and it now has a release date of September thirteenth. I will get back to you guys on that, if that is going to be worth my time. It does look not too bad from the screenshots, at least, anyway. Okay, so No More Heroes 3 has been announced. Um, my brother, back when I was still in high school, uh, he played No More Heroes, the original one. I believe it was for PS3, I believe. I can't remember exactly. Um, but he played the first one, never really got past much of the demo, and decided to never buy it. Um, since then, I haven't even given it a shot, um, but that might change in the future. It depends, because... I do want to build a very powerful emulation PC uh, in the future with some of the knowledge that I've obtained from my IT classes. And uh, who knows, maybe I can get PS, uh, X -E bleh, PSX3 running on that thing, along with Sammy, of course. Now, there was also announcements of Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 being released on the Switch. I believe they're ports. I don't think they're enhanced uh, remakes at all. Um, I don't really particularly care about the Resident Evil series as a general concept. The most popular game in the franchise, Resident Evil 4, releases, to my knowledge, the most popular one. I haven't even tried. I have the ROM on my uh, Dolphin emulator. Never had the urge to pick it up yet. Uh, Geralt Goes Portable, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I saw my brother playing The Witcher 3, and it did look pretty interesting, so I might actually check this game out. I still do intend to actually, at some point, get Skyrim on my Switch as well, because everyone's been bugging me to get it since I have a Switch, and... You know, the Switch is very portable, and sometimes I don't want to, like, drag my laptop everywhere. But we'll figure it out when we get there. Uh, then we have Link's Awakening has a release date. There's apparently, as far as I remember, a full remake of Link's Awakening. Um, I did not hear much about this game. I have not played the original Link's Awakening. I haven't even finished Ocarina of Time at the time of this recording, so... Um, probably take me a while to get to there. But um, I definitely will plan on getting Legend of Zelda uh, Link's Awakening on my Switch when it comes out. Uh, it says the launch date is projected for September 20th of this year. Uh, next, we had uh, Dark Crystal meets Final Fantasy Tactics. I have no opinion. I don't even know what Dark Crystal is. I heard bad things about Final Fantasy Tactics. I'm moving on. Luigi's Mansion 3. So I don't know if this was actually just officially announced today, or if it was announced prior and I just kind of missed the update. 
Uh, but they did show some footage and during E3, and it does look pretty neat. Um, I never really had any interest in the original Luigi's Mansion, Luigi's Mansion, and Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the 3DS. I never even got a chance to play, and I've honestly never had any interest to. Um, I'm not a really big fan of the Luigi games in general. As a matter of fact, I'm not even really that huge of a fan of Mario. Super Mario Odyssey is the only Mario game I've ever really enjoyed. Um, but then again, I haven't really given a lot of the 2D Mario games a fair shot, so in the coming months, I'll probably give those a fair shot and probably introduce a little bit more of the uh, concept of the Mario game franchise to me. Now, the two things that I actually give a fuck about. Breath of the Wild is getting a sequel. And by the trailer, it looks to be a very dark, sort of mysterious, like hunting down the rem remnants of Ganon's darkness type of deal with Zelda and Link tagging along. I really hope that it's not a co-op adventure, but at the same time, I really, really, really want it to be like dual NPCs, like you as being Link and then Zelda accompanying you throughout whatever the fuck you're doing. I mean, there's so little information that we have so far. We only have uh, information that it is being worked on. We don't have any projected release date whatsoever, but I absolutely adore, adore Breath of the Wild. And this comes from the to be honest. But Breath of the Wild was just phenomenal. I loved it. I'm really sad that I had to sell it to make some extra money between jobs. I will plan on getting it again, along with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 again, which I still have not really talked about that game much, but I'll save that for a, another time when I actually get the game again. But yeah, definitely looks pretty fucking awesome. I definitely want to give it a shot. And the biggest thing, the two new fighters that are DLC that have been revealed for, for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with the hero, Dragon Quest's hero is coming this summer and has the ability to shift forms. Along with that, we get Banjo and Kazooie. Finally! <laughs> this only has, this is only good. This is only has good signs. The best thing is that, like, I looked at the trailer, I saw all of Banjo and Kazooie doing their moves, and they're all the moves from the video games from both Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie, and none of that bullshit from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And it was so cool to see them in HD, and they're all fucking big expressive and shit. Banjo picked up Kazooie and bashed him on the floor, bashed her on the floor. It was, uh, I loved it so much. Uh, I almost cried. I was so happy. I've been wanting Banjo-Kazooie since fucking Smash 4 was released. Or since Smash 4 was even announced back in 2013. Oh, I'm so happy I am getting them as soon as I fucking see when. As soon as they, I don't care how much they, I don't care if they're $30, I'm fucking getting them. And a Spiral Mountain stage. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, but uh, this, this to me means two things, potentially. Number one is that if Banjo-Kazooie is being ported into Smash, that gives Banjo-Kazooie a massive, massive fucking uplifting that he hasn't received since the fucking 1990s. Or actually late 2000s, to be honest, early 2000s, to be honest. But this could mean either two good things for the series. Either we could get an actual Banjo 3E, which I would die, I would die so hard so many times, an HD Banjo 3E. Oh my God, please give it to me. And on top of that, or we could get remastered versions, not the Xbox Live versions of Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie, but actual remastered with modern graphic style Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie on the Switch. Ugh. Or even better, just get Banjo-Kazooie on the Switch in general. I don't care. I would love to play Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie on my fucking Switch. I'd have even more reasons. Like, I don't have a thousand other reasons to keep my Switch on me at all goddamn times. But yeah, guys, um, that's what I really wanted to get to, just Banjo-Kazooie and Smash. I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, apologize for whatever footage I put here. It's probably just going to be some random gameplay of some video game I like to play. I don't know. Fuck it. Um, but I really wanted to get some ideas and thoughts and whatever out of here for E3. Um, nothing too fancy. Obviously, I don't have my proper recording equipment since I just moved in my apartment. But I'm prolonging the video, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, Nintendo E3 presentation down in the comment section down below. And don't forget to follow me on YouTube. On YouTube. Thank you. On my Let's on my Let's Play channel and on Twitter. Links to both of those will be in the description down below. It's probably on Patreon if you have the ability to do so. Just one dollar. I can't really offer much in the way of perks just yet, but the one dollar is just a good is just a good show of faith to just go the extra mile. 
It won't cost you anything but pocket change. Up to you guys, of course. If you don't want to, that's totally fine as well. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been ZDS, making it to be fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video.